Hello everybody. Welcome to map 5. The final round of XTWC. As we left off round 4, there were either 2 or 1 point separating Dizzy and Goblin. Dizzy was on top. This literally depends on your rounding. Um, Delta, Knight, Source, all in a good race for 3rd. Past that, it falls off a bit. incredible incredible close scenes at the top so who can take it the winner of the final round will almost certainly because it's very unlikely they're going to be less than a point apart but the winner of the final round will take it overall let's see how they managed to get on in this final round we got top 20 we got some extra players for the continental champions but first we got a little bit of housekeeping to do. Over on the side of the screen there, we have the names of everybody who played this XDWC and set a time on a map. 496 people, an incredible record. Thank you to everybody who set a time. Incredible amount of players from incredible amount of countries. Uh, I've got a load of stats that don't really mean a lot to me. There's a lot of stats. Really good. A lot of players from a lot of countries. The US had the most players, followed by Russia, followed by Germany, followed by the UK. Pretty good. We, um... Uh, uh, should I find the stats? Where's this, what's this one? No, nope, that's nothing. Okay. No Finland in the top five. <laughs> Finland somewhere. Where's Finland? Countries, da, 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 Finland. Uh, Finland is 13th with 11, tied with Ukraine, Czechia, Ukraine, Czechia, Finland, 12 from Sweden, 12 from Canada, Italy 16, yeah, pretty good. But some other uh, things I want to thank very, very much, I want to thank the admins, Mirio, uh, Morris Afos, Des, multiple more. I want to thank the mappers, especially Ash, especially Cool, especially Mirio. Mappers who make the maps possible, make it going. Thank the players, as I just did. You make it possible. There's no point running this if there's no players. And I want to encourage anybody who has a bit of spare cash burning a hole in their pocket. Give it to the relaxed running servers, the general servers that we play on for the rest of the year because... Uh, yeah, keep those servers going. Keep us in a good game. Lithuania. Two. It doesn't say who the other one is. You on an alt account. Um, yeah. Let's, I think, get into this. Before we get into the demos, though, we have, uh, from last week, this is... These two are the secrets from last week. Forgot to show them off. So you got the Kool-Aid Man and the Kool-Aid Man Yu-Gi-Oh card. Oh no, that's not a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Someone's going to hate me. That's the Magic the Gathering card. I have them in my... I have a box behind me with Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh on MTG. Please don't kill me. These photos sent by Dez, the ultimate secret finder. And this is this week's secret. Ashy Slashy. I have it on good authority. This is actually what Ash was looking like while continuing to build... Uh, this map that's another bit i just remembered please if you are look into the eyes of this demon on your screen and think of ash he has made four maps for this xwc i think he made three or four last year he's not he said he's not going to be able to continue doing this please if you want to get into map making start making maps now start uh, thinking about it don't put it off until six months time get into maps now get some maps built get some half finished maps maybe that could be submitted to HWC and then someone could help you finish them it we need mappers if this is going to continue so that's a plea from everybody anyone interested in mapping please do it if you were looking for the sign here's the sign please do it Let's actually get into the game though. 
Who have we got first? We got Static. We got Static, the uh, African champion, coming in at 74th with a. Uh, it's going to be a one a 95, so a 130.71. Let's have a look. When I saw this time, I was interested what the route's going to be because this is faster than I think it's going to be possible to. Uh, like it's going to have to use some rocketry. The best guys doing a no weapons route, they were hitting a 125. Or they were saying 125 was possible. So, this is going to be uh, interesting. Wait, what? Why is Magic Demo Seek not worked? Okay. I don't know why Magic Demo Seek turned off. I only just realised it had. Sorry about that. A couple of things on Magic Demo Seek. One, makes the screen not blurry. Two, turns the sound off until uh, it catches up. And I think it runs a bit faster. I should probably tune Magic Demo Seek because I can rip some. Oh no, okay, that's alright. I thought he'd gone and accidentally started too early. Okay, so really good start. Very clean. Uh, actually getting the double stack there. Very nicely. I think going to go up here. Yep. Looking about 70. Pretty good angle. Nicely up. Oh, he's managed to make it. Yeah, shoot it for the sake of shooting it. That's not bad. Okay, didn't quite get across to the next bit. Gonna go around the side. Oh, ooh. That would have been very close. Um... If that had actually pulled off, that's quite a clever strategy there. Good rocket launcher. Good up here. Gonna go for the rocket. Yes, get in. That's such clean slick. Nice stop. It was for a lot of people better to just stop straight and then uh, get a good fall. Oh, that's nice. Good spacing out of that. Good shot. Nice rocket. No speed lost. Little bit caught there. Just didn't quite jump in time. Clean it in the finish. That is a good... Uh, that's a good run. Next up. OP3 from China. Your Asian champion. 5-3. Ah, oh, nice. Good speed out of there. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> good speed out of there. Apparently not good enough. Nicely through. Going for a 64 angle. Really far boosted over there. That's going to be awkward. Can someone please tell me what the command is to make the flashing stop while we're doing Hagar? Ah, <laughs> oh, nice wall. Nice wall strafe. Good rocket. Landing pretty uh, pretty early on the, on the slick. That is a very clean drop down. Nice rocket. Good speed off there. Not really in a great position to use the slick, so good rocket. Good, good use of the rocket for uh, the spacing that wasn't really going to get you a good slick. Heavy use of the W key there. Oh, beautiful rocket. That was absolutely perfect. Landing right on the back of the slick. Straight. 
very nice time. Very nice time. Next up, we have Dez. One place ahead of the record we have just seen. Uh, and point seven, point oh seven faster. Oh, shadow. Real time. Thank you. That hopefully should fix the um Yeah. I just don't want anyone with epilepsy having a problem with the Hagar. Yes, that's turned off the flashing lights from uh, from weapons. Thank you very much. Nicely round, good velocity pad, good boost up, high speed off of there, no. oh that's nice, that was cleaner than mine by a long way, good drop down, nice route through there, good slick, decent spacing, Landing right at the end, pretty good. So one of the key things we're going to see is landing as far down on some of these ramps as possible, getting the most speed. And just retaining speed in general throughout everything. Then nice and clean into the finish for a first place on the Brazilian server. So that was 38th position for Des, 39th for Op3. And now we head into our top 20. With the master of the strafe hood, Juhu, with a 61.88. I think particles were gone. Not too sure. But it looks alright to me. Because even, like, that minor amount, I think I have very minor photosensitivity. Particles might be gone because I have a very busted-ass setup. Um, so I probably disabled particles because this, this setup still takes half of my dual setup. So there is a chance that I disabled particles in dual. And it never got turned back on again for anything else. Nice slick, really nice rocket, super clean up there, going for, um, yeah that's that's something I think we're going to see for a while there, just going to s drop down stop, not trying to take the, um, not trying to take that little down ramp, nice and clean through there, tasty. Good jump, good strafe into the finish. Very, very nice time. Very nice time there from Juhu. Next up, we have Uchi with a 61.78. So it's like it's gonna be the, one of the slowest times I've ever seen. 28 minutes. I know this was set quite late in the grind because this is when I was almost catching Uchi up at this point. And they just caught ahead of me, and at this point, he was gone. So this was his PB of 102.81 was the genuine PB when this record was set. So pretty big. That's a second actually. 
Nice, good landing. Going the opposite side to the way we've seen most people. Oh, that's going to give... Ah, oh, gets the double stack there. You get absolutely boosted into the sky. Oh, that's such a nice... That is so clean. Nice little circle jump to gain a lot of speed. 650 exit, 1,000 over there. Nice ramp up. Nice strafe. Should be a good spin around here. That's a lot of speed. Very nice amount of speed there. Great exit, great spacing. Oh, an extra rocket just in the end, managing to get so much extra speed just from that. Very, very nice one there from Uchi. 61.70. From Thorek and Clasps. We got Thorek up first. This map, uh, it only has really one route, but inside of that route, there are so many different options in terms of the way that you take each corner. That's a very interesting way of doing the rocket climb. We'll see if that was just like accidental or if uh, that's actually the strategically planned route here from Thorak. Yeah, only going for a 50 on the uh, V-angle there. That lower number with the little degrees sign underneath the strafe bar directly. That is the angle you're looking up or down. So look straight at the floor, it'll say minus 90. Look straight at the sky, it'll say positive 90. And everywhere in between. Most people agreed on about 65 to 70 is the best for the Hagar. Ooh, that's so fast out of there. Super nice. Loses a bit of speed on the exit of the slick, but hey, it's pretty good and good through there. That's kind of a speed slowdown, so losing a little bit on the slick shouldn't matter too much. Nice rocket, gets a beautiful wall. Nice one off the wall. And another finish. Look at that. Let's see if we can see a big difference between the way these two records are played. Uh, if I bring up... They were some nice end rockets. So these two are tied. They actually tied final... Oh no, that's the finish. Never mind, I was going to say final CP, but they had, um no, that was the actual finish itself. So they're pretty close across the entire... Yeah, it's a little bit up, a little bit down. Neither of them particularly gaining anything in any one area. Yeah, it's gain less than a tenth of a second each time uh, Theorek versus Uchi like there I think you see a little bit of gain but it also gets lost I saw a lot of people talking about doing that which was you kind of AD strafe uh, on the slick in and then wall strafe out so that it sets you up nicely for the exit you know where you are always rather than guessing I was ADing both sides and I was having to guess uh, where things were going very nice over the little bit of double jump off of that ramp does help you just make sure that you get to the next down ramp nice wall rocket I didn't even dare try it like if I was getting to the end I wasn't even gonna dare try that very clean very similar runs very similar runs there rainbow shadow up next with 61 36 Interestingly, we are uh, going through. We started on a 61, and we're going th in the top 20 at least. We're going through with minute and one second times for quite a while, and then all of a sudden it will just drop off. That's that elusive sub minute really was brutal. I thought sub minute would get you a get you a top 20. I didn't realise that it'd get you a top 15. 
Ooh. Just catching on the end there, but a nice nice way to exit that actually, going out the middle rather than going out the sides. I think most people getting stuck into the corners was just uh it's the easiest way to guarantee you're hitting all of your Hagar to get up. Nice. That's such a point where you've got to shoot that target. Such a point where you've got to stay uh, calm. Stay calm, stay consistent. Only one down ramp on that section. Brutal. That's what the double jump did for um, for Thorak. And clasps. Next up we have Vert. Our first one minute and something time. I know, staying calm at the end of these. Like I, I, I said it a few times. But at the end of runs on this map. This map more than any other. My legs felt my legs and my heart rate felt the same as when I just set um, personal bests on a bike outside. Like genuinely, you no know, no electricity for two days, and the man still comes seventh. Spoilers for the overall, but Dex came. Top 20. Let me just see where he came. Dex came... That's the wrong screen. Where has he gone? Lost him. Came 15th overall. Having downloaded... Um, downloaded Zenotic. Roughly an hour before the end of round one <laughs> absolutely incredible nice run from vert though very clean did uh, pester him for comment and the comment i got was not much to say about it i did me runs had fun pretty much Mad lads will indeed be mad. Our first sub -minuter. We have gone from not sub 101 to one minute, you know, flat. Two sub minute. Riffo. Riffo's just going to be glad that he can get back to his torture maps, I think. Interesting. Very interesting. Shooting high and using the ramp. Using the just generic speed to go forwards. Then hitting the ramp. That was super nice. So he landed on the top of that uh, edge, that ledge, used that to slow down, and then that was able to boost him. Nice 180 drop down. Good rocket. Good rocket. Very good rocket. <laughs> good there. Double jump. Very nice. Just so panicked, Riffo is. He's absolutely the most panicked defragger you'll ever see. We said about you've got to be calm in these last seconds. This man is not calm in anything he does. And he deserves to uh, have absolutely panicked through there because that was rapid. Very, very nice run. Ferius. With a 59.49. Yeah, that, that end section is pretty much built for Riffo. Like that, I reckon that end section is pretty much him... Like, if I look... Da, 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 da. Yeah, so he's got a much higher l final section than his... Um, than his rank, kind of everybody else around him in that in that kind of position. For he's 15th or 14th. Uh, oh, 
Side ice. Yeah, same thing again. Getting caught on the top of that. Nice out there. Good rocket. Very good rocket. That's interesting. Didn't expect we'd see that. Did not expect we'd see that. It makes sense though, because you get some speed off of it, and don't lose any speed from the ramps. So you're effectively kind of gaining twice as much, I'd guess, than um, than using the ramp. But that's a really clever rocket, because yeah, I I was certainly struggling to use all three of the rockets, um, because you kind of you, you're planning on jumping off of the slick, so you don't have time to use the rocket. But using the rocket to jump off the slick and just clear it all really really nice use of the rocket so like we said there's only one way to go but there's a million ways about it that you can take it and next up we got the Aussie oh is it ridiculously unreliable there's a very furious thing to do though isn't it you, you tend to go for unreliable as hell things not quite as unreliable. We'll talk about it after this run. But yeah, some unreliable stuff that I've heard. Going for a 70. Nice exit. Plus 69. N negative nice, I guess. Wow, the backwards rocket there. Okay. That's super clean wall slicking out of there. Very nice. Good hit. Oh, I lost a lot of speed there, but it's all right. Keeping it clean through there. That's some good speed. Good through there. Just grazing that. Doesn't quite get the double jump, but it's all good. We got the spacing anyway. Exit there. Nice wall rocket. Nice wall rocket, and that's the way you finish. Really nice from nature. Yeah, so I... We, we, some people question how come the, the Quake 3 guys, they've come in, they've just absolutely dominated in certain sections, you know, they've ripped up the top 10. Uh, apparently, in a small cup, uh, the FPS cup in Quake 3, Source was trying for a 1 in 10,000 skip, Realised that it was actually not possible. So instead, decided to see how fast he could go on a weapons map without using weapons. And it wasn't a weapons map like this where there is a no weapons route. He had to just do crazy double jumps and skims and stuff. The end rocket flicks are incredible. They, I will say, they look a lot less incredible. Like, they look a lot... Not, not that they they look easy, but they look very calculated on my screen where I can watch this at 144Hz compared to the stream which is coming through at 30fps. There's a bit of a bit of a toss up there, but they do look, you know, they are incredibly precise and they're so consistent, so consistent between, uh, between wall rockets, just boom, boom. It's having that knowledge of your sensitivity. I move my mouse this much, it gets me to here, then I click, then I move back. Exact same amount. Next up we got cans. Have a drink. If you haven't had a drink already. Can's already in the sub territory. So many of these records came very late last night. Ooh, it's another one going for the Riffo style. Really clever that, actually. Oh, just walking straight off the edge there. Enough speed to kind of just let the consistent continuation go. Nice rocket down. Yeah, good wall slick, but... 
just couldn't quite get into it right at the start. Going for the more consistent option there of just stop and strafe and uh, just walk, you know, walk yourself back up to speed. Good rockets, very good use of them. Good on that section. Beautifully spaced section, that. Mm. We'll have a look at that walk-off, just so that we can, for the next records, because I've I heard a few of the top, like top five guys, a couple of those guys were talking about that walk off. So we will hit that. Mm. So I guess the plan was to land straight onto the pad, but by letting go of jump, you were guaranteeing that you didn't land right before the pad, because if you'd have jumped there, you would have landed right before the pad and over jumped it that's really cool i like that a lot that's a very cool setup because you're going to get the speed off of the floor anyway but let's watch this so we're going to hit there and we're losing a bit of speed but we only lose 200 speed nice and then the jump pad gives you basically 600 speed it's a little bit unreliable but for the most part it just gives you 600 speed there are some other th it's not unreliable but there are some other things about it I think the walk-off must, like, super depend on spacing, because at 320, you'll just fall in the hole, I think. Like, regular walking speed, so you've got to get proper good speed. Yeah, this section, so well made by Ash. If you hit those two down ramps, you make it across those uh, holes. Like, so... Well that was ridiculous. Getting, like, a, a down rocket to be able to... get back on the slick faster very nice next up we have the legend jh height sliding it in at the start of the top 10 this is your 10th place Starting to see some solid sections of green now, like CP7 on this. That's a faster time. That's a fast section. Very nice start. Good exit from there. Nicely spaced, good rocket. That was good slick. Go for consistency. Good shot. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Incredible amounts of speed gained. Oh, that's that's very clever. Incredible amounts of speed gained from that slick, actually. Um despite only being on it for just such a short amount of time, seem to be always accelerating it. You really good use of the rockets. And a really good time. Nice one. We're into the 58 territory with a 58.66 from Gibbs. Another last night record. Without the spin, you were, you can come out with the same amount of speed because you pretty much just kill all your speed down to regular walking speed. Um, Delta, um, either is either Delta or Source was saying that without. You needed like 1600 to 1700 before it was worth doing the spin. But everyone was doing the spin. <laughs> Everyone's doing the spin anyway. But yeah, here, he was kind of saying like it's not worth it unless you're going to really kick it out. 
because you're just losing so much speed because it's not a smooth corner it's three angles you're like bang 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 very nice a good strafe into the finish mm. Speaking of Source, who may or may not have said what I just said. Here he is. Nice start speed. There is talk of three stacking the rockets it has been proven to be possible but whether it's faster i did wonder if source did it because he was saying oh the the three stack is bait but at the same time he's the kind of guy to say it's bait and do it oh that was nice Nice little, uh, not quite a circle jump, just kind of a wiggle. Just have a little wiggle. Not great with the rocket there, that first rocket. Oh yeah, look at that, Source doing that. Um... <laughs> J height in the chat, bye bye PB. <laughs> yeah, 1900 slick exit he was saying was possible. Guy's a troll. Has been hilarious watching people. Huge jump here. Over a second to Mr. Soup, who only played this map last night and got seventh. Mad lad. Fastest time. Uh, first of our fastest CPs for the top 20. All of them above here. Uh, the final CP before the finish. So, or not. CP8. When we see it. This checkpoint. From there to the next one. He's got the fastest time on that. Thank you Soup for crashing in that section. Before you set the fastest time. On that section. And he's got another. What we're going to call the J8. Uh, not the J8. The Riffo route. Nicely done. Very high speed there. <laughs> Me? Just uh, having a few issues in chat. <laughs> oh, mate. Incredible. I saw JH accidentally do that on day one or day two. And honestly... I thought it could be something. I thought it could be something, but it's one of those ridiculous... 3,000 through the line. Let's have another look at that, um, that section. That, that jump, that double jump up on the window. So yeah, that bit of glass is slightly inset, so you can get a little double jump off of it. And... Yeah, it's cool. Let's have a look at this rocket because it's difficult to see without the lights on. Yeah, soup, absolutely nuts. <laughs> Literally only played one day. So, we're shooting where? At the light. So that you get the vertical boost from that, then you hit it. So you effectively get the whole of the rocket rather than only kind of half the rocket if you're shooting at the floor. Oh, the RL trigger. Of course, yeah, the RL trigger might actually not not hit when you when you get there. Also, Goblins just said that... Here we go. So we get 
get the ramp jump rather than a double jump it's a, just a regular ramp jump which gets you the height to just shoot that rocket there and send it It looks like you're not going to make it from this angle right now. You just get up. Beautiful rocket. Then around 1800. That's such a nice ramp. Again, I think Source was definitely right. I mean, that was definitely the 1800 of speed. And Air Brit didn't get much more speed than Source did with air braking. And that was that kind of cutoff point Source was talking about, the 1800. So, just incredible. Yeah, if Goblin's saying that Soup's outrooted him in two places, that is interesting. <laughs> For later. 56.78 from Mr. Dex. Sorry, 7.8. I did type it right. Even if I didn't read it right. Yeah, XEWC 2024 doesn't happen until we've got a uh, a 52 on this map. Nice. That was some fluid, um, fluid Hagar. So the Hagar position, unlike in Quake 3 and most other games with the plasma rifles. Ooh, 1,000 after that bounce pad. Very nice. Uh, it's fluid. It's kind of not... There's no static best position to point at. And that was definitely moving around trying to find that best position. For each point. No one's quite sure where it actually is. So yeah. That was good. That was very clean through there. That was definitely worth not air breaking for. Worth taking the swing. Well over 3,000 there. Soup just skimming in the 3,000 as he crossed the line. Uh, Dex there. Well above the 3,000. 56.55, we have Freud. Still not seeing anybody going for the triple. But 1500 rocket starts are coming out now. And 65 seems to be... Oh, there's the, there's the just walk off. 65 seems to be the Vangle to be looking for. Oh, nice. Yeah, above a 1,000 now. Crispy. Oh, first time we've seen somebody go for the ramp in a little while. And yeah, 1.8k off the slick. Going so fast, he's actually missed that um, second pad and had to go for the right one right at the bottom in the side corner. Straight through the middle! He's gone through the middle! That's mad! That's like, that is really precise. I was doing it a couple of times, just once I got to the end but had messed it up. I was doing it at much slower than that. Absolutely much slower than that. It's difficult to get through that. It's really tight. It's only probably... It's two hitboxes wide at best. That section there. Where are we now? We are into the top five. That was fifth place. We're up to night. With a 56.40. Insane and unnecessary. But hey... There's there's points for style in this, I've been told. <laughs> uh. 
I heard there's an XDWC show jumping competition being judged by Crazy Al. Well over the 1500 there. 1500 for sure off the rockets. Nice exit from the first. Straight onto that. No walk off up to that speed now. Okay. You can do that. That flick. No speed loss flick there. Very nice. Good strafe. Good exit. And boom, 31. We find quickly. Night. So, night. Uh, message him for some wor words about the whole of the competition. And round 5 in general. Round 5 was for sure the best map of this XWC. Plenty of interesting sections that were fun to play. Only frustrating part was a beginning down ramp where the two X's getting stuck on that with uh, a bit of lag. And you know, you just kind of jump. Overall, it was good on QC. Uh, good that some other Q3 folks hopped on to play and see what the game is about and push its limits. They, yeah, absolutely pushed it. <laughs> And here's hoping we have another strong show next year. And big thanks to everyone involved in organising this. There's some words direct from Knight there. A legend of all the uh, defraggy type movement communities. Another big jump, nearly a second to a 55.53 from Delta. Your third place, I believe? Yes, third place. Knight's absolutely incredible at Slick. He's one of those guys where sometimes you'll watch a run from him and think, is this guy a Slick main? Just the way that he does Slick. I mean, that uh, round two, when he did that incredible Slick and just flung off at, I think, 100 units a second faster than any other book I got it. We also have some words from Delta. Nice. Very early on that. Oh, wow. Early rocket. Yeah, the rocket down doesn't seem to be doing as much. It's it's a good, easy rocket to do if you've got the rocket spare. But it does seem to be that if you can get the rocket in elsewhere, it's probably a bit faster. But it's tight to get three rockets in, which I think is why we're seeing so many rocket downs. Because it's just like, ah, okay, once I've hit this wall, I shoot a rocket at my head. You know, you can just do it. Really good strafe there. Oh, that was such a nice straight landing on there. And boom. Straight through. Some words from Delta. Surprisingly fun and addicting. Came to test the first map and ended up grinding probably the most out of all players. <laughs> Speaks for itself. Which I think, yeah. Uh, that's kind of the... That's... Kind of the general gist that I got from most of these top Quake 3 players. They came over and it was just like, wow, this is fun. And that's super good. That's super good. Why no ceiling rockets? Oh, he's offline. I won't message him. <laughs> Don't know why no ceiling rockets. Should have been. More ceiling rockets. Entire round dedicated to ceiling rockets next year, please. Okay, so we know that the top two overall is decided 
by when I press the button on my keyboard to show next, we know who has won. I know most people already know who's won, but look, pretend that there's some suspense in this, alright? Are we ready? Is it going to be Delta? Uh, sorry, is it going to be Dizzy or is it going to be Goblin? Taking the overall of 2023, it is Dizzy in second place. With a 54.87. Let's see what this route is. Because Goblin has four best splits out of everybody. Dizzy has three. And very close to a better uh, final split. It's uh, He's second. Second fastest. Goblin third fastest on that one so still not seeing three three's a meme surely <laughs> unless goblin does it 1600 up to there very nice Look at the strafe in between all these. Ceiling rocket. There we go. That's what we like to see. In between all these sections though. Look at Dizzy's strafe. It's just like a strafe. It's like he's only strafe mapping in these sections. 99% strafe. Oh, so nice. Dizzy sent me a message saying... Uh, well, I asked a bunch of the top players what they thought of XWC and what they thought of map 5. And Dizzy said... Um, obviously Quake 3 players coming across and challenging him. Super good. And he really enjoyed the rocket changes and the weapon changes. Even if he's not very good at them. And you look at what he's just done there. You know, even if you're not very good at them. Are you sure? <laughs> because the, the checkpoints, they're not all... There's a mixture. Goblin's got some in the in the rocket sections, but got some in the strafe sections. They're not. It's not like Dizzy's got all the strafe sections. Goblin's got all the um, rocket sections. And a 54 second time is still incredible. I mean, a 54 87, absolutely nuts. But a 54 71 from Goblin, your 2023 XDWC champion. Absolute legend. While it's loading, because he only sent me about two words. Um, the response was, thanks to everyone for making it happen. Glad I had the chance to try it due to DFWC getting postponed. Try to take part, take in more of those if they happen yearly. Incredible. Just glad to have a chance to try it. And then he went and won it. So here we go. Definitely no three three rockets was a meme. <sighs> Flying. Ceiling rocket. E. Oh, that was really not doing it backwards. Inc that's incredible. Just, I guess, do it. Ooh, no ramp. No ramp there and a thousand units through that section. I need to see what Dizzy did there because I can't remember what Dizzy did there. Did he, wait, did he manage to use the two rockets at Plasma? So there's two rockets on that first, first um, wall climb section. You... That's just incredible. Congratulations, Coblin. Um, you get two rockets, and it's probably just for helping new players. If you mess up your first one, you've got a chance to get the second one. Because one rocket will get you up to where you get given the Hagar. And if you're using the Hagar at about 65 to 70 degrees angle, you'll just kind of brrr up the top. But it definitely wasn't thought of to be usable. But if Gob Goblin has said he didn't use it. So definitely didn't. But 
1400 out of there. Oh no, so that was the wrong one. That wasn't very good. 1400 wasn't good enough. 1540. There we go. No one used the rocket bug. No 1600 starts at all. No, yours was um, second fastest as far as I can tell. As far as I could remember anyone doing anything faster. It seemed the starts very much got faster and faster throughout. This is... That's just super clean. That's like doing the backstroke in um, swimming. When you're in a swimming pool. And then tumble turning into a front crawl. Such an probably the only person to get uh, get that turn clean enough. Very nice. Very very nice. Let's go back to Dizzy's record again. So who's this goblin fella? Is it someone's alt? No. No. This only felt like torturing us. What we got? Okay, that cut that. It's not... Oop. Oop. 15, 12. Very nice. Very interesting to see pretty much everybody using different V angles when going up. I know it's fluid, but most people are moving at the same speed and using different V angles, so. We talked a lot about it. It probably didn't matter too much. Really nice clean there, but Goblin just. Yeah. A little bit faster through there without even using the, the ramp. Although I think. It was once you did that, it was so difficult off of the ramp to not lose a load of speed to AD. Dizzy, one of the absolute best at AD turning, and if he's losing a ton of speed, everyone's gonna super super nice run. So yeah, there's your runs. Let's pull up the overall. Take a look at it. Let's pull up the back and forth between these two. Goblin, the overall, and the speed record. But the history here, it's all over the place. Isolate those two. So here, we start off. Dizzy sets a crack in time. Goblin. Just comes in and beats it. Okay. Uh, oh no. Goblin draws even about here. Very close to even. Just a tiny bit slower. How do I reset this? Uh, da, 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 da. Zoom out. Okay. Then. Let's just zoom into this bit. So Dizzy, bit behind, he's got to make it up. Absolute grind session, boom, half a second, a little bit, chunking it away, overtakes, and Goblin, he comes back, he's still just behind by 0 0.01, and there it is. Dizzy was able to PB again, oh no, no, that's just sending it straight to the end. So Dizzy wasn't able to PB again, and there it was. Goblin took it from one. I mean, it was two points last week in the overall between them, according to the website. It was one on the spreadsheet I've got because the rounding actually works it out to a different way. But there it is. Official. Goblin's up there. 
incredibly close though like all over the place all the way down you know the top five is pretty close it got a bit split more on the final round but it was close all the way through there was definitely fights and there's you can find fights all the way down you really find a fight here a fight there which is one of the best things about having so many players that no matter how good you are where you are in this leaderboard you can go and look at someone and go i want to beat that guy and the fact that we finally found some competition for Dizzy, so that Dizzy has to go, I should probably beat that guy. It's uh, super nice. Super nice to see. Let's pull up some of those stats I've got, because I've got a bunch of stats. I've got a bunch of stats. Here's Dizzy's round stats. Super nice. Super nice graphs. Stray percentage. Yeah, it doesn't really matter on this map, actually. A little bit helpful, but you can kind of see it fluctuating. It's There's a lot more to strafe percent, because especially because of the slick. All of that's all over the place. <laughs> uh, where's my other... There it is. Here's the the fight as it went. Frosty dropped off, wasn't able to play the last few. But there's your fight. You know, Dizzy, top, top. Drops to second after round three. Brings it back in round four. Doesn't quite make it. Round five. Uh, who's this? Delta on an upward spike. Once the weapons map's kicked in. Managed to kick the overall third. Knight just dropping down to fourth there. Towards the end. Uh, yeah, Frosty dropping off. Dex coming in. Dex, like I said, he didn't really play round one. Um, incredible to be in the top 20. Uh, Soup actually in the top 20 as someone only playing four rounds. Continental overall champions. Africa, you got Static. Asia, you got Widgizza. Europe, of course, Goblin. Dizzy, of course, for the North America. Oceania, you got Nature. And Des in South America. Here's all the countries I was talking about right at the start. Loads of players. Loads of different countries. What's that? Has it got a title at the top? Yeah, so 61 different countries. Really, really cool. Surprisingly, most players from the United States... Biggest uh, biggest number. That's really cool. That doesn't work. And I can't read the error. Yeah, there's your breakdown. As a graph, it just gets a bit messy. Continents. Uh, so this is Europe. This is Asia. This is Africa. This is South America. This is... This is Oceania and this is North America. Another graph for the players for continent. Players setting a time. So round one, our best ever round one. Round two, our third best ever anything coming in behind, obviously, round one here, but round one last year. Uh, 191 in round three, 186. And round five, getting an impressive amount of players for a difficult map. 204 players. Really cool. Uh, Alright, oh that's just chunking it to other. Rounds completed per player. This is an interesting stat for me. 291 players only completed one round. Cool. Can we bring them back for more next time? 44 is just an instant drop off. You pretty much either completed everything or completed nothing. Or just, you know, just one. So, yeah. Good stats to see 102 people completing every round. That's a really cool stat. That's a very important stat, I think. How many players came back week after week for five weeks? It's a lot of time. It's over a twelve, over a whole month. Relative times. If anyone can make sense of this, good job. Uh, I can't. <laughs> All these diagrams provided by Mirio, and then your yeah, average roll times. Closest ever average roll times. One and four. 
Really, really close. Really, really good. There's your top 20. There's your extra ones that we've just seen. Oh, so 102 players beating 89. 2020 was the best for that. And 2022, our best year ever. Over 100 extra players. Couldn't quite hit the, the 500, but we're on it for next year. If we gained 100 this year, we're aiming for 600 next year. There's your overall. It's going to crash. So I'll uh, do it off of the website. Where is it? Have a scroll down here. So again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for playing. Everybody. The servers are down. The actual XTWC is over. But uh, XDF still lives on. So come play. Hopefully we'll have a Quake 3 Defrag World Championship soon. Some point, maybe the beginning of next year that we can all dig our teeth into. That'll be very fun. And so thank you to, you know, every single one of these people for getting these big numbers up. Because this is where it starts. You know, just having a, a quick game. It's where the addiction starts, isn't it? So, incredible, incredible, incredible scenes. Thank you very much for watching. Get on the server. I'm going to, over the next couple of weeks, probably try to make a video recapping everything that's going on. If you'd like to give your story about any round, if you think you've got any interesting things to say about a round, please do contact me. Um, I'm very nervous and don't want to contact people. I was sat at work texting everybody that I texted about to get the information off of them for this map and was going, I hope I don't annoy them. So uh, yeah, please please do say if you've got anything interesting. If you've got any interesting runs as well, I'll take a look at them. I watch all of the XDF records coming up on Morrow's channel, the regular uh, season stuff. Watch all of those. So if you've got any interesting demos, any weird stuff that you did in XWC, I'll take a look at it. It's fun. Thank you very much for watching. Congratulations to Goblin on top. Dizzy, second place. Delta, Knight, Source. There's your top five, your big podium. There's kind of top 20 cut off. Really, really great. There's all the names scrolling up the side of your screen. Thank you very much to everybody who came along. Thank you everyone for playing. Have a great year. We'll see you next year. Remember, if you want to make maps, make them. Please, please do. If you've got this far into it, consider making a map. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you on the server. See you next year. See you wherever.